Welcome back to more Potion Permit, everybody. So in the last episode, I was saying that I was going to basically do some cuts, or like a cut off screen and just, you know, do some fishing, which I did. I fished about like three or so, but I actually ended up getting this big chest, which is actually a new one, and I decided not to do anything. There we go. So I got a chest, but I guess with the, with the chest, you just get money, which is cool, but it also doesn't count as... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. That was... Okay, so one thing I learned as well... And one of the comments actually helped me with this is you want to look at the color of the line as well because if it turns red it means that um, it's actually not good so like basically every time the fish gets mad that's a signal to you that the line is going to get changed to red very fast let go until the tired icon appears but sometimes when you start fishing right from the beginning you'll also notice that the um oh crayfish that the line of it is changing to red pretty much immediately and if that happens and that's actually a signal to you to pull away so like right here i'm pulling but it's not turning red so i think it's fine but there it's turning red so you have to be careful so it's a combination of looking at the icons but also looking at the color of your line because uh you don't want it to turn bright red or else you will break it and then you lose your bait you know so it's going good yeah, I just it's taking a long, a long, long time to reach the 20. It's just a lot. It's a lot of fishing to do because fishing for it takes like a whole freaking day just to get like seven or eight of them. That wasn't even a white meat. That was a pink meat. So so far I have not gotten good luck with that because, as you can see, um, I still need a lot. I need I need a lot of white meat to be able to you know reach that for the for the quest. So that's gonna be a problem. But I'm doing my absolute best to uh, reach there but it, it seems that this is the only place possible to be able to like fish like at the moment at least you know it might help if I actually uh, fish in the areas that are a little closer like right here that way it's not you know too far away because you know the, the idea is that if you start fishing closer to you there's less reeling time that you have to actually do which it makes sense you know so I guess I'm just gonna go with that, I think. As long as I keep getting um, the white meat and I'll be fine. So I'm halfway there, which is not even close. Like, not even close. Okay, yeah, so that's turning right immediately. That's the thing that you have to be careful about. Okay, and that again. And then red again. And that's basically the idea. It's already 1730, so that's kind of... Oh shoot, okay, I got it, I got it. Anchovy. That's fine. Okay, that one was probably a little far, I shouldn't have done that, but... Nope, turning red. Oh wait, tired, tired, that's good. Yeah, 18, which means it's already 6 p.m., so I have to hurry this up if I want to get even close to 20. That's the idea. Gotta get it. There we go. Another anchovy. I'll take that. How many do I have left? Oh my god. This is gonna be really close because if I don't pull the right ones that I need. Okay, I'm pulling. Yeah, if I don't get enough white meats or if I get money, I'm gonna actually have to go and get more bait. I'm gonna have to buy more of it. And that's a shrimp. That is a white meat. Okay, this one. Oh, there, there we go. There's not too many that are close by anymore, so I have to be careful about that now. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, pull in, pull in. And, oh, that's turning angry. Gotta be careful about that. We're getting there. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a process, you know? It'll take a while. Also, there's like a bunch of people here, like... I might as well talk to them, you know, get some friendship from them. If they're here. I didn't know a bunch of people like to come here and fish at this time. There's also another person over there on the left side, too. Wow. There we go. Talk to all of you. Okay. So, let's go back into doing this. I mean, we still have some time. It's 
1940, yeah. But you see how long, like, it takes almost another, like, a whole in-game hour to, like, do even one fishing. Like, it's crazy. Just because of how slow it is. But, you know, that's just the, that's just the way that the game works, honestly. Like, I'm not saying that's the game's fault or anything, but... Oh, that was a pink one. That's not good. God damn it. That's not what I wanted to see at all. Nope, already turning red. Yeah, I'm thinking if I should just uh, end it here for today with the whole fishing. We'll have to see. Get it, get it. Okay. Crayfish. That's white meat. How many, how many more do I have? Oh my god, I don't even know how many more I have. I'm pretty sure I should have bought more. That's okay, I mean, I'll, I'll just buy more stuff tomorrow anyway. Is that a duck down there? <laughs> I just realized there's, there are duckies in here. That's crazy. Okay. I don't think you can interact with them. Sardine. I have... I can't see... Oh my god, dude. I have 5 and I have 15, so... Assuming all of these next ones that I get are all white meats, I'll be good. But if not... Then I'm gonna actually have to buy more, so I have to go a perfect five for five to be able to, you know, do anything with this. Yeah, this one's going crazy. Stop it. Gotta pull you in. Come all the way. Oh wow, oh, ooh, ooh, okay, got it, got it. Eel, yes. Okay, so it's a little bit past 10 now. Nope, that's turning red. Okay. Speaking of turning red, did you all, did any of you watch that movie? Because I actually didn't. I know it was like pretty marketed, you know, by Disney, but I actually did not end up watching that for whatever reason. I do watch a lot of new Disney movies. I loved Encanto, you know, which obviously came out last year. Um, and then... Oh my god. There was Luca as well. There was... There was a lot. But I, I can't think too much right now because I'm actually looking at this fishing thing and trying to be extremely careful to not break a line at all. Go, go, go. Make it, make it. There we go. Mackerel. Okay. Oh, I got a pink meat. That's unfortunate because that means I actually have to go out and buy some, some more bait. Okay. I mean, for being an early game quest, that was actually a huge supply of items that they require. 20. Usually in a lot of, you know, farming games like this, the fishing mechanic is like, oh, get two of these. But no, this game's like the first fishing quest you get. Get 20 of them. Like, what? I just got another penguin. Are you sh shitting me right now? Oh, you can't, you can't be serious. You seriously can't be serious about that. Because now I still have to get two more. That's assuming this one's even a white one. Because if it's not white meat, that means I can actually have to catch three of them. And that, okay, whatever. That That's a signal. Wait a minute. No, I don't have any more. So I spent the entire day today fishing and I didn't even reach 20. That's insane how long fishing takes in this game. But, okay. Let's just go to bed then, because we are basically done here, so we're going to have to just go to sleep here. It's going to be a Monday. Um, I guess I can start the morning. Wait, I should actually check to see uh, who is, like, ill. Oh, there's a scene. What's the scene? Let's see. Good to see you again, Shiny. After your test, we talked everything over. Dr. Nestor is very happy with everything you've achieved here. And what's more surprising, Mora feels the same. It's a miracle, right? I never thought I'd have a discussion with Mora that didn't turn into an argument. She's deadly serious and a total cynic, but also very smart. A perfect model student. Boring. Oops, sorry, that was a bit off topic. I'm here because Dr. Nestor wants to give you this letter. It's a letter of recommendation. We really hope that you'll keep working and studying on this island. Oh, wow. Oh, and what I said about Mora just now. Let's get it between us, okay? 
I'll see you soon, little chemist. Okay, so we completed that quest too. That's pretty good. Um, oh, actually, I have to deliver it to Meyer. Got it. Okay, well, we're going to come over here this way. Because we have another ill patient. It's Victor. Left eye. Okay, well, let's see here. Twirl solution. Interesting. So, we have to go back and try to make that. Hopefully we have the right materials for that. Let's see. Um, can I even... Oh, there we go. It's right here. That's a big one. And five. And I can use all elements, though. So I should be able to do this, I think. Um, it's just a matter of... Seeing what is available for me. So, like, if I do, let's say... I don't know. I put one here. I, I should be able to do those in three. I can do like... I can do this one here. Do I have that shape on there? I'm, no, I have this one which is reversed, but that's not going to work. That's okay though, because I can actually do it in two. Because obviously I can use this item over there. Which means that for this one here... I can do like, let's say, I can do two, I can do two of these, that would actually work like pretty well. There we go, I can do that, make the solution, to world solution, and then we can press OK with that. OK. Well, let's be on our way over here. And we're just gonna examine that and give it to you. Satisfaction all the way up. Treatment complete. Not too bad, not too bad. And with that, I receive probably more money, you know, more trust up. <laughs> yeah, of course. Trust up, moon clothes, and 292 money. We're up to 1677. Hmm. Oh wait, sorry, I was walking down, my bad. Alright, so... How about... I mean, I should actually warp over here. Before I, you know, do anything else. But trying to find Meyer or anything like that. I should probably take care of this. I mean, it's only 720 though. Oh, damn it. Actually, that's not gonna work, because... Yeah, he's just, he's gonna be over at his house, I believe, so might not be the best thing to do yet. Let's warp here first, then. And we're gonna run, I guess, over here. Oh, look, there's you. Don't run away, I need to talk to you. Okay. door is locked. This place opens at 8. Which is right now, actually. Okay. Ooh, there's another scene here. Hey, Shiny. Do you have time to help me out with these packages? I have a load of packages I need to ship out of town. I'm looking for someone to help me pack the goods. How about helping me out? Sounds great. Now, you see that board by the entrance? Sign yourself up there if you want me to help out with this. I'll pay you for your time. Oh, okay. I guess that's another way to just pass the time, you know, pretty efficiently. If you just do that, you can always pass two hours of time. So I suppose it's a good idea. This specific minigame can be played while you're doing part-time. Yeah, whatever. Objective is to pack as many goods as you can. If you make a mistake when packing bikes, you'll have to repeat the process. Okay, well, what do I do here? Oh. I see.
That was easy. You get 17 seconds left. Uh, these mini games are all really easy. It's just a really convenient way to make money while also making, you know, making some or creating some ways I should say to pass the time. That's not bad. Oh, there's people here. Russo. And then there's you, Laura. All right, I guess that's about everybody here. Okay, let's run back up here to Moonberry Beach. Then we're going to uh, see what we can do here. I mean, it's, it's 11 o'clock on Monday. Luckily, the shop is open, so we can, you know, obviously go in here and talk to you. I have eight of those, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Let me talk to you as well. There we go. Uh, no. We're gonna do shop. We're gonna buy, like, uh, just buy ten, just to be safe, you know? Sure. That's fine. Okay, I believe this one is the closest one. And then from here, yeah, we'll have to go to the left and down. Alright, so today we'll definitely be able to do this. We're also going to have to try and find Meyer. Talk to Zeke here. And then Hannah. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, let's do this. See what kind of fish we can get here. Let's pull you in. No, no, no. Please give me white meat. I need white. That's 18 out of 20. No, I didn't mean to do... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. There's a fish nearby, so that's good. Uh, no, no, no. That's not going to work. Okay, you're tired. Let's pull. And done. Okay. Shrimp. That puts us at 19 out of 20. There's a fish really close, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this one then. Come on. Fishy. What? Did I just glitch it? I think I may have glitched it. Also, do you waste your bait if you do that? I actually don't know. Okay, don't... There we go. Just pull, just pull, okay, and wait for that. Just being very careful here. I want to ensure I get my 20th white meat. New record, crayfish, and there we go, 20 out of 20. Deli what did he just say? Deliver 10? Wait, what? Why? But you just told me to deliver 20 white meat. All the required fish results have been gathered. Lino might be surprised if the Chinese is into fishing. What do you mean, five? How does that make any logical sense? I mean, luckily I, I have this, but... I swear to God, the game said, deliver 20 white meat. And when I caught my 20th white meat... The quest automatically changed into deliver 10 white meat and 5 pink meat. Am I crazy? I might be crazy actually. I, I don't know, but I could have sworn it was 20 white meat the entire time, not 10 and then 5. The game just magically changed up the quest randomly out of nowhere. How does that make any sense? Okay, whatever. I'm over it. Alright, let's go in here and deliver. Here's the quest. Deliver to you. Got something to show me? Let's have a look. Well, blow me down. I never thought I'd chemist what would take to fishing like that. Mm-hmm. Quite a catch. You might even be as good as me. Now I've only got one hand left. Oh, I lost it during a fierce battle. There was once a paradise overflowing with treasure to the north. So many ships set sail for this paradise for her to claim their share. The crew and I were fighting for one such treasure. During the battle, I was protecting one of my crewmates when someone chopped me hand clean off. Really? It was in the heat of battle, and 
Well, now all I've got is this. We didn't win today, but hey, it's a golden memory. How was my story? Grip me by the tail, daring go. What? Okay. No, I don't worry about it. It's just me. It's just my hand. I didn't manage to take me pirate's heart. They're made of sterner stuff. Okay, we completed that quest. Um, friendship. Oh, I see. That's how you do that. Okay, now does that put? Oh, that puts me at one out of three. Okay, I see. I see how this is working now. I really do see how this is working. Um, basically, when you fill up the bar of a character, you can then get a, assigned a quest for that particular character. And then you basically have to complete the quest so you can unlock that. Once you complete the quest, you unlock the next section uh, or like the next segment of that character's friendship, if that makes sense. So it's almost like, yeah, like friendship in this game is locked through events, which is an intriguing take on this genre of gaming because more often than not, we don't really, you know, see this kind of stuff. So it is intriguing, like I said. And it is unique because not a lot of games implement this type of mechanic into their game. But anyway, seems like I have to get three characters up to, you know, max for the first segment and then complete the quest. And that will complete the, uh, the quest of befriending three characters. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the right. Hmm. I mean, I don't really want to do any more fishing there, like seriously. I just gotta keep talking to people and eventually getting quests assigned, you know? There's nobody in here, though. Oh, here's Meyer. Town Hall 1F. Hello, Shiny. Look at that rock. Our ancestors believed it was found on this island. This island and village took their name from the rock's unique shape. Magnificent, isn't it? This island has a rich and unique variety of resources. That's why I display all of our island treasures here. Unfortunately, due to that accident in the past, we've lost so many of them. If you can, Shiny, would you help me to restore them? Splendid. I hope there's still a way for us to get them back. Oh. Okay, well that was... That's it? I thought it was going to be like some... Some kind of like actual quest to sign, but I guess not. Anyway, I received a comment saying like, Dude, Meyer's in this place the entire time. Duh. But like I was saying before, no he isn't because... And this is proof right here, he's not in here right now. That's exactly what I'm talking about, that he's not in here. So I don't know why I got a comment like that, because it doesn't make any sense. He's not there all the time. He's moving around like the majority of the characters in this game you know they have lives they're not just gonna be at their station the entire time that's not the way you know these types of farming simulation games work i say farming simulation but obviously this game is not a farming game but it has a lot of similarities to farming simulation games but it is a simulation game in terms of like you know getting resources um foraging fishing, befriending villagers, all that good stuff, you know, so a lot is happening, um, minus, of course, the whole farming aspect, but the biggest gimmick mechanic in here is obviously the, uh, the potion slash illness mechanic, where you basically heal people, but anyway, I'm not really seeing too much more action here, unfortunately, and I do have to try and find Meyer. I just, not too familiar with his routine yet. Here's you. I'll talk to you, I guess. We're getting up there. And then there's nothing available there. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I wonder where he would be then if he's not gonna be... I don't know. It's always a complicated one to find this guy. Because he could be literally anywhere. He just wanders around. And I think you can always just enter a house to try and trigger a scene. And if you find nothing right away, just go ahead and leave the house. 
and that way yeah so you can just leave it that way you know okay there was no cutscene on this day on this time so like it's fine oh wait that's already yeah i already talked to you my bad on that let's go in here yeah see monastery there's nothing it's pretty dead right now there's really nothing around here so it's it's a little shocking but i mean what are you gonna do right yeah there's nobody here there's actually a lot of people missing like where are these people are they up here at the beach having their dinner I know some people come up here sometimes but yeah there are actually people here um, okay here's you I mean there were only two and then some guy he walked off I already talked to you for the day so I'm actually not really sure where all of these people are. Um, oh, here's uh, you, Dan. I'm going to talk to you like one time ever. Mainly because you're so damn hard to find. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, we'll go up like this. Nobody is in there either. Everybody's gone. Like, everybody's seriously gone. It's only 7 p.m. I don't know where all these people went, but they're clearly not here. Is there, like, a festival today? It just seems so odd that it is so, like, barren, you know? Hmm. I also haven't even gotten resources in the last two days because... I mean, I was really spending my time fishing for one of them. And then, this day I was partially fishing, but also, um, I mean, I went to go complete the quest, obviously, but, wow. Let me see if, I mean, I guess I can go in one of these buildings. I mean, now it's late enough to the point where the tavern, hold on, hold on, I think I saw somebody moving. Yeah, I did. So people could be in their houses, but I'm just not triggering events, you know, that's, that's the big difference there. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go back in here because now it's late, so I think that there will be people in here. Or not. Hold on, it's closed today, isn't it? I'm such an idiot. It's closed on Mondays. Wow, okay. Well, in that case, let's go, um... I don't know, maybe I could go to his house. Oh, here's you. You're getting up there too. That's not bad. Opal Heart's house. I guess I'll have to check uh, Meyer's house. There's Dev's house. Meyer's house is just so far out of the way that I really hate coming over here. Like, I really do. There you are, finally. Okay. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Quest. Here you go. You want to talk about the badge? Of course, let's go to my office together. So, you bring your first letter of recommendation from the Medical Association. Everything looks to be in order, and I can see Dr. Mr. Signature on the letter as well. Excellent, I'm happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level. With the new badge, you'll be able to explore further afield to find all the materials you need. I shall be looking forward to your future contributions to the community. Approval badge 2 acquired. Okay. So with that, I think I can actually gain access to a new location. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. Alright, well, it's now late enough, so I think it's time to go to bed again. I haven't been, I have not been productive with the whole using up my stamina, you know, foraging stuff just because I've been really busy with the quest within here, but we'll see. See what I can do tomorrow. So now it's a Tuesday, Tuesday morning, and it really is time to explore over there. So let's go ahead and take care of that. I guess I'll start with that since there really isn't too much else that I can be doing. I think the easiest way is to go here. Yeah, we're finally going to go up, so let's see what I can get. And any materials will be good. We'll use the hammer here. 
buy one of those. Give me that copper nugget. Mm, nothing there. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh, shoot. Got you. Give me that. That's a savage main. And then, oh, this is where these are. I'll gladly take these, because these are actually pretty good. It does take a lot of stamina, though, to clear these. I just gotta upgrade my tools more. But it seemed like they naturally improved as I was completing quests, because at one point it just became stronger for no reason, so. Okay. There we go. And then from here, I have to go uh, to the left. Yeah. Here's some of uh, this corn. I don't think I need anything else from there. Okay, let's run up and see what happens here. And we do have a scene in this area, so they're going to try and fix this probably. Do you remember the when we last fixed this machine? Last year, I think. Hey, it's the chemist. Looks like our chemist already got the permission he needs this time. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out what happened to this machine. We're blending under the harsh weather in this cold place. I swear, we must have fixed it six times already. It's so frustrating it's broken yet again. It's the single biggest problem we're facing here. Replace, replacing the gear with a more suitable one? Well, I'm not much of a mechanic. We've already thrown everything we can at it. Asking Opal Heart for help? Well, we've tried that a couple times. In fact, we bought this particular gear, the, the one that's, that's now broken, off her. We haven't tried asking her to redesign the gear yet. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to ask. Could you do that? Let us know when you've got news. Maybe showing that broken gear to her would be a good idea. Deliver one broken cock to Opal Heart. Okay, so that's where we have to go next. Um, I don't really know where she could be outside of her own home, which I think it's down, yep, down there. So she could be there, but generally, again, um, probably not during the daytime, but we will see. Although it is still fairly early, and if they're not a morning person, then we could still catch them in there. It just depends if we get a little lucky with this, but we'll see. But the quest basically says, deliver one broken cog to Opal Heart. Okay. Oh, look at that. She was actually here. Okay, well, let's do the quest. What's up with this metal gear? Let's head to my workshop and talk this over. Repairing the cable car again? Haven't we helped out with this a couple times already? We use the finest material for everything we produce. Maybe the problem's elsewhere. We believe our products are the best, and I'm pretty sure of that. There's no point just creating the same stuff over and over again. Maybe there's something wrong with the blueprint we're using. Well, the cable car was built by people from the capital a long time ago. We took a design from their old blueprint. Perhaps to give us the wrong blueprint back then. It's not that I don't want to make you another gear, but I suggest you find another blueprint to avoid this happening again in the future. Wait a minute. Maybe you could ask a friend of yours. Which one? That farm boy who designed a custom wheelchair for his father. You mean luck? He came up with a blueprint for the wheelchair himself. He seems to have a good head for design. Maybe he'll be able to come up with something here too. That's a good idea. You better show him the old blueprint and the gear. And let us see his idea for it. Deliver one broken cog and one... Okay, so... I gotta go make that delivery. So, where the hell is this guy, though? I actually have no idea where he could be. Um, I don't think it would mark it. I mean, it's... If I pin that... 
Like, I really doubt it, but... Let's see, let's see what it says. Well, Barthes, I just taken the book and probably old group into luck. She believes luck will be able to come up with something. Okay. Let me just look real quick. So what's in alphabetical order? Um, okay. Okay, he's a diligent, hardworking man, capable. Figure has a deep passion for books. I mean, I've seen this guy running around, like, everywhere, but I... Is he the guy that's... I don't, I don't actually remember, to be honest. Oh wait, no, you did say, you did mention luck, so... He probably could be in here, but... Never really know. No, he's not gonna be there. Hold on, is this place closed on Tuesdays? Is my luck that horrible that, like... I'm literally coming to all these businesses the day that they're closed? You've gotta be kidding me. I can't believe how terrible my luck is. The one day where I'm always looking to go to a specific place, and it's the that it's the one out of seven chance on the day that it's always closed. Like that's ridiculous. That's happened like five times in a row now. And I swear it happens in every single Harvest Moon playthrough I do. Like every single one. I just can't believe And that happens. Hannah's okay. Hmm. Talk to you. Huh. Okay, well. I can at least go in here. Oh, wow. I feel like a store during business hours, thought more. Yeah, we could. Otmar, sorry. What's happening here? Watch my noting straight today. With your batch of corn from luck. But Ottomar hasn't been so busy, I might not have time to collect it. Help Ottomar out? Uh sure, go to farmhouse and GF. Um, okay, sure. Let me talk to you though. Get you up there. Because I know I'm going to have to, um, marry somebody eventually. That helps a fair amount, giving those, but, okay. So I'm wondering if I should, you know, like, choose her. It might be a good idea to do it. Okay, so I have to go find Luck, and I also have to go to the farmhouse. So there's two different things. Hmm. Um, so the farmhouse that you're referring to... Right over there. Okay. I'm also trying to find luck wherever you could be because I have no clue specifically where you would be. That's the monastery. There's nothing in there. Here's a uh, here's a uh, you Nova. So I'll talk to you. Anything in the church? Not really. You're in here at least. I'll talk to you, Cecilia. Okay. And we can leave from there. I'm not going to do part-time work right now because I'd rather try to use the time that I need to like try to complete these quests if I can. You're already maxed. So it's just a, it's just a matter of trying to find where your cutscene starts. You know, once you max somebody out, you have to be in the right place at the right time to be able to trigger the scene and then complete that that um, quest, and then they can go to the next level. Here's Derek's house. There is nothing in there either, so let's go up here into the farmhouse. Let's see what we find. Otmar's co- Oh wait, see, this is Lux, but I'm, I'm so freaking dumb. I, I thought it was the other one. Alright. I kept them for him. Are you going to deliver them to Otmar? Great, I'll grab them for you. Yes, yes, of course. 
Okay, here you go. That's it. That was actually like really easy. Now, Ajma or Lux, sorry, is actually not in here. Which is strange because like if it's during work hours and the place is not closed, then shouldn't it be here unless you're closed on Tuesdays? Are you closed on Tuesdays too? No, it's letting me do it. It is actually letting me do it. Can I go back here? No, I, I can't. Yes, I can. Is there anybody back here? Luck. I, I gotta find you, seriously. You've gotta be around here somewhere because, like, that's ridiculous if you're not. There you are. Thank God I found you. Okay, now we're gonna do quest. Give that to you. A gear and a blueprint. Let's have a chat about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't think this blueprint fits the design of the car cable car we have. But, since I'm not a mechanic, I can't be entirely sure. Hey, you invited the chemist over. You're trying to get him to bulk buy crops? It's about the blueprint for the cable car at Glaze Iceberg. Well, you built yourself a bit of a reputation. But I'm not a mechanic. Pfft, look at this wheelchair, it's your design. Are you going to tell me that you've been sitting around reading trash all this time, Luck? No. Now listen up. Reading the odd book doesn't make you capable of doing what you're good at. Go and show Moonberry what a farmer's son like you can do with all this mechanical stuff. Right. Well, I'll need some time to think about the new design. Do you mind waiting? Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm quite confident about the new blueprint. I hope Opalhar will be able to understand the new blueprint. If it's hard to read, you can come back to me. Okay, so now I have to go down there and deliver the thing. Which, um, it's actually like right... Oh my god. Well, that warp doesn't really help me. But there is no warp in that bottom section of town. Which I, f I found strange that there like wasn't one but i don't know for a second there i thought i was going crazy you know thinking that i was like not seeing it but i don't think it's actually there so you just have to you know warp to that one and then just run over hopefully you're still in here somewhere opal heart's house let's see you are actually not you definitely took off god damn it well that's not good because now i can't find opal heart i'm gonna have to run around the entire area yes i do understand that if you apparently if you feed your dog consistently eventually you can like find people which is something i should probably get into because you know it's going to be a process it's going to be quite a long process for that so we'll have to we'll see we'll have to see what we can do um to try to find her in the meantime i will walk over here and make that delivery i think that'll be helpful Right over here. Oh, it's it's you. Hello, you. Here's your uh no 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 not that. Your quest. Wow, good corn. Ogman was afraid Lux sold us a lot to other customers since Omar not pick up. Now that he's here, Omar going to try the new recipe next time. Thank you. You make Omar very happy. Unfinished business. And that unlocks friendship level. So now I have um, done, gotten two friends up there, as you know, or two people up there as friends, which is nice. Now I have to find Opal Heart. I was hoping I could do this today just to try to make as much progress as possible with cutscenes and you know just all this stuff. But I don't think I'll be able to like do this. We'll see. We'll have to see. Um, I don't know, sometimes when I go in buildings, I just kind of you know I do that. But the problem is that is that if they're deeper in a building, you're not going to be able to use the strategy on them to try to find them. So you know, there's pros and cons to you know, regardless of your strategy. But um, we'll see what we do. We will see. Um, let's go in. 
I guess maybe. Oh look, it's it's Helen. Hello, you. I w oh wait, the door is locked. Oh shoot. Okay, well, I can't go in there. What about in here? Yorn is in here. You're almost at max, so that's good. I also have to go and do that illness thing. I haven't actually gone yet for today, so... Oh, there you are. Alright, Opal Heart. Who am I talking to? You, okay. The new blueprint. Let's have a look. Yes, yes. New blueprint is looking good, but I'll need some materials in order to make this. You understand, right? Good. Now here's the list of materials I'll need. Come back to me when you've got them, and then I'll use the blueprint to make the gear right away. Copper nugget and silver. Okay, I see. That actually makes a lot of sense. So uh, that's something that we'll have to just. Uh, get naturally. I can actually come back there, go back there today, because I don't foresee there being too much else to do for the day. Um, police department. I'm just trying to, uh, obviously befriend as many people as I possibly can, so I can get another cutscene unlocked, and I can get that third one done. To the chemist. Uh, I've been having trouble with sleeping patterns. Could you please for me visit sometime Monday to Sunday, 15 to 21, 30. Oh, I see. Okay, well... We're gonna go... I think we do have to go to a far place. What the hell? Oh, it's like, it's pointing to like all of that area. Got it, got it. Okay. That makes sense. Let's just go out and explore around here. Sure, why not? I'll see what, you know, I can get here. Oh, you actually still got me. My priority, again, is to smash these things. Well, actually, I think these are just rocks, aren't they? No, no, it's a copper nugget. That works. Uh, so, yeah, we'll hit all of these. But they don't always have it, so that is one thing that I didn't mention before. But it's true, they don't always have it. You just have to keep hitting these until you get the necessary materials. That's a silver one. Okay, that's not bad. That's it for this side. Now we'll uh, go down this way. Oh god, you freaking... Yeah, those guys are actually aggressive. Most enemies in this game, as you can see, are not hostile until you provoke them. Okay, and hit them both. There we go. Give me that. Give me that stuff. Okay, we'll go to the left, I guess. I don't really see any more here. Aha, here's one. I'm kind of running out of stamina, so I have to wrap this up a little bit. That puts me at eight. I'm only halfway through for the silver, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to, uh, you know, get these to max, oh god. Because there, there's not that many of them, so you have to be careful about that. I killed that guy because he was gonna be in the way since he's a hostile enemy, you know? There's another one, so we're almost done with copper. It's the silver ones that are going to be a problem. So, like, I don't think going over here... Oh, wait, there's one right there. Hopefully I can get it, though. Damn it, I really thought I was going to... There we go, I got one. So do I even need to hit this one? I mean, I guess. If I just want an extra copper one for something else in the future, it might be helpful to do that. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any more down there. Let's go this way. And see if we find any over here. Mmm. Not really. Yeah, no. What I'm going to do is warp... Back there, we'll proceed north this time. Because I do remember seeing some up here. Like, to the left. Yeah, well, that's a copper. I'm looking for 
silver. Yeah, this one. Yeah, sometimes the game lags a bit. Like, you just saw that slowdown right there. That's not me and my capture card. That's literally the game slowing down for a quick sec. It does that on rare occasions, but it does happen. Is that another one down there? No, it's not. There were not that many around here, unfortunately. But that's, I think, all we have access to for the day. Which is fine. I mean, it is late, you know. So it's time to actually warp back and basically finish up this, this day. Which is also a good time to end the video, I believe. Because, uh... Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. I forgot one more thing. The illness. Forget about that. Okay, you. Osman. Oh my god. You have a lot. Okay. So you only do this for the first time on any diagnosis, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Like, once you've encountered this type of, like, illness, then I don't think you have to play the minigame ever again. Okay. God, it's like, about to the, what was the other one? Uh, your... Wait, left shoulder, right... Oh, right palm. Wait, that's the wrong one. Right here. There's a new one. Oh, shoot. Okay. Up, left, left. Left, up, up. Easy enough. There we go. Alright, and that completes this diagnosis. So we have to make three different things. Oh my god. We need a relaxing palm. Violet Mist and Alacrity? Ala Ala I do not know what that is, but wow. Okay. That's going to be a crazy one to do. Um, I guess we'll do like, I don't know, that one and we can do, it's really whatever I have a lot of, you know? I have four of these now, I can just do maybe that. Can start brewing that. Okay, I'm actually gonna end the video here. I know it's a cliffhanger, but I'm gonna record another one right away anyway, and I'll keep these around 50 minutes or so. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great day.